Hi, I'm Hans Wilhelm. Many of us are still having behavior patterns we would like to get rid of, like intolerance, judgmental, impatience, the craving for love and attention, and so on. We may even suffer from severe addictions and compulsions. In this video, I will explain the most powerful tools for transformation or recovery that were given to us by the Universal Spirit. Our addictions, compulsions and all our negative behavior patterns stem from the erroneous belief that we are separate from God, the life energy from love. Consequently, we have been trying to obtain substitute energy from other sources like other people, drugs or other stimuli. These efforts were often provoked by negative entities, which always led to disappointing and even horrific results. So the only way to rectify this is to return to the only true source of life energy there is, to God, to love. In other words, we have to make a 180 degree turnaround. Such a change of direction will have some other amazing positive effects. Firstly, it helps our soul to reach a higher vibrational level in the spiritual worlds after our physical death. To grow and develop is the major reason why we came to planet Earth. And secondly, such a change of direction offers drastic improvements and liberations in our life right now, the way we feel about ourselves and about others. It can also soften future blows of fate and even totally eliminate some karma. The result is peace, harmony and freedom. This is all available to us right now. The spiritual world tells us that it all starts with our decision that we need help. We have tried long enough to make changes on our own, but with little or no results. We are ready to accept help. That help can only come from something much, much bigger than ourselves. And that power we commonly call God or love. We have heard that if we are willing to make one step towards God, then God will make many steps towards us. If we truly want help and change, we must be willing to give ourselves meaning to surrender to this higher power. Surrender does not mean giving up. It means giving over to someone or something that is much stronger than we are. Everybody has a different intimate relationship with this multidimensional love energy, which some call God, God Father, Father Mother God, Love, Divinity, Universal Spirit, Christ and so on. That powerful presence is in us as the God spark or the Christ spark in the proximity of our heart. But it is also around us, besides us, or above and below us. God is in all things. God is all present, always. And God tells us over and over again that he is always eager to help his child to return back home, back to love. So we have to make an inventory. To make a change, we have to know exactly of what it is that holds us back from being love, from being at peace and in harmony. The best way to do this is by looking at ourselves and our behavior from a detached, higher and neutral position, without any judgment. Whenever we become aware of any fault during that self-examination, we can say, I am still this or that. This means that we have accepted who we are right now, but also have made a conscious decision to make a change. We usually have a pretty good idea of what it is that we want to get rid of. For instance, anything that gives us something like a temporary high, a false boost of energy. This can come from things like alcohol, drugs, sex or food. But instead of getting high, we might also use the same drugs for a false feeling of relaxation and unwinding but we can also be addicted to a feeling of superiority over others when we judge or criticize them. It can also be our craving for love and attention from others that gives us that false high and a lot of other things. It is important to make the decision to change from our heart and not just from our head because many of us only want to be free from the unpleasant situation but not from these false highs that our ego still wants to hold on to like, I don't want the pain of addiction, but I still want the high or false feeling of relaxation. Or, I don't want to judge and criticize others, but I still want the feeling of superiority. 
we have to honestly ask ourselves, are we ready to let go of all these deceiving advantages that we have enjoyed for so long with our old behavior? The lowest motivation for change is to become free of something because it continues giving us pain, troubles and complications. The ideal motivation is to change out of love for God because it means that we have recognized that some of our habits are no longer appropriate for the divine child of God who we are. That way we grow in love and will go into each day with renewed and stronger vitality. We are becoming more and more the unconditional love ourselves again. Throughout the day, when we have an emotional reaction to anything, we know that there is still something that needs to be looked at, cleared up and given over. It is the law of correspondence or projection. We either seize the opportunity and make a change or waste that opportunity. But when we use our free will to let go of the old and fervently ask God for help, all the powers of heaven are at our disposal. God is always with us and radiates love to us, reminding us that he is the love from where we once came and to where we want to return. When feeling restlessness, he says to us, Come to me, speak to me, let me help you. We can come to him with our anger, power games, grudges, disorders, addictions, compulsions, passions, our cravings for love and attention, everything. So these are the steps. Firstly, we have to make an inventory of our life and recognize that we have faults and behavior patterns that we don't want and which are no longer in line with our true being. Secondly, we have to make the decision to change. Thirdly, we have to regret and feel deep remorse for these faults and behavior patterns. And if we have harmed others, we have to ask for their forgiveness and offer amends. And then the willingness in giving ourselves or surrender to that higher power. This is because our own volition has not served us very well so far. We do it in our prayer and meditation. We walk within ourselves where God is waiting and here we talk to him in our own words about our situation, decision and request for help. This is the moment we are totally ourselves without any pretense and tears are most acceptable. All the time his love is radiating into our heart. What is so difficult about that? All of infinity consists of selfless service because God is love. Therefore, selfless help is manifold. A person asking for help will receive help. These are the instructions as ever given to us by the Universal Spirit. I am sure that some of you may have noticed that these principles are actually the essence of any 12-step program. As I was working on this video, I came across this amazing book by Russell Brand called Recovery. He went through hell with his addictions and by applying basically the same principle as I have outlined in this video, he got out of it. His book is brutally honest and extremely entertaining. It can be a great inspiration and help for anybody who is battling similar demons. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.